Hey everybody, it's Jake Tapper from CNN State of the Union and factcheck.org. This week we're going to take a look at comments made by President Trump about his now fired National Security Advisor, retired General Michael Flynn. First, let's start with some backstory. President Trump asked Flynn to resign Tuesday after reports surfaced, first in the Washington Post, that in December he had discussed Obama's new U.S. sanctions during a call with the Russian ambassador to the U.S. This was before President Trump became president. Flynn had denied talking about the sanctions not only to reporters and to the public, but to members of the Trump White House, including Vice President Pence, who then went on TV and denied the accusation as well. It turned out that Flynn was not telling the truth. President Trump's first public comments on the ousting of Mike Flynn came in a joint press conference with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Take a listen. General Flynn is a wonderful man. I think he's been treated very, very unfairly by the media, um, as I call it, the fake media in many cases. And uh, I think it's really a sad thing that he was treated so badly. So is that true? Was General Flynn treated, quote, very unfairly by the, quote, fake media? Well. That's an opinion, but it's not one that is tethered to reality. The reports that came out about what Mike Flynn said in those phone calls with the Russian ambassador have all proven to be correct. In fact, the White House has confirmed them. In the press briefing on Tuesday, White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer basically said that the reports were true. Take a listen. The sanctions that Flynn was discussing were the sanctions for the election hacking. Right. And President Trump on Thursday acknowledged that he fired Flynn because he had misrepresented those phone calls to the vice president. And whether it was a lie or whether it was a bad memory, neither would work for him. I fired him because of what he said to Mike Pence. Very simple. So are the reports fake news according to Mike Flynn? Well, no, not according to the resignation letter he wrote. Quote, I inadvertently briefed the vice president-elect and others with incomplete information regarding my phone calls with the Russian ambassador. So the stories were accurate. They did a service for the American people. The White House has acknowledged they were accurate. Even Mike Flynn has essentially acknowledged they were accurate. So how is it unfair or fake media? The answer, it's not. A reminder to all you politicians out there, you are perfectly entitled to your own opinions, not to your own facts. I'm Jake Tapper for CNN State of the Union and factcheck.org.